overview of the upcoming week. Now we're basically what we're doing in this video is we're checking the fundamentals, the most important stuff from December 2nd to December 6th. 2019 that's monday to friday this is the prime traders group we are a beautiful mastermind group uh, that uses a very specific and very simple and easy to use trading system um, to find well accurate and uh, pip making or profit making trades now let's jump into this straight away now the possible movers this week now this week in the u.s that's what we're starting off the u.s the most important market we are due to get both the jobs report and the ism indices for november pretty important week there are good expectations that these figures should reverse because the signs of a recession have pretty much faded um, throughout the market so this week is really important actually <clears throat> especially for the eurozone in order for the big boys and all of us to decide or uh, find if this is actually what's going to be um, happening. So um, the markets and pretty much everyone that we reviewed so far expect the good news from both the ISM and the jobs report. But we'll see closer to the end of the week um, what's actually going to happen and more specifically, especially the NFP on Friday. Now moving on in Europe, uh, we are set to get detailed information along with the final quarter free GDP estimates. Um, now, because of what's going on with the trade tensions, it is highly expected that uh, it should be more supportive towards the, the EU economy. Now, together with that GDP figures, we also get a lot of PMIs and stuff like that. We'll, we'll go over that. But the most important one out there should be the German industrial production figures. Um, and they're important because we need to see whether the worst is over for the German manufacturing sector or it's just beginning. Um, in Australia, we get the RBA, which is the Royal Bank of Australia. They're set to release their cash rates and the interest rate statement. Canada is set to do the same. Uh, markets are also likely to be keeping a very close eye on the US-China trade negotiations as they scope up for that phase one deal. That's going to be pretty important. Um, aside from that, we also get the OPEC meeting, which could have an impact on WTI and crude. So as you see, busy week last month of the year. We need to be on our A game here, guys and girls. Anyway, the three busiest trading days this week are Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. For Wednesday, the trading day kicks off pretty early in the in the Asian session with the Australian quarterly GDP figures. And as that's done, we'll be moving over to the EU, where we get a lot of services PMI uh, from many different economies, from Germany, France, Italy, Spain. We also get the UK services PMI right after Europe. And then, as soon as the US opens up for trading, we get the US ADP data. We also get the Bank of Canada interest rate, and after that, the US ISM non-manufacturing. So that's going to be a pretty busy day, um, probably the busiest day right after Friday, and Thursday is the least busiest of all of them. Um, another day where we kick off early with the AU, which is Australian retail sales, and a speech from the Royal Bank of New Zealand governor um, in the early Asian session. Um, I'll explain right after this slide how we trade the news so you guys understand. Um, um, later on, we got OPEC meetings. They're an all day event, so speeches should be expected. And we also get the Canadian trade balance, which shouldn't be that important, but could be. Finally, the first Friday of every month is always a busy time. And you guys know why, it's the NFP. Since we're a day and swing traders, we love these events because they provide us really good opportunities to make money if we have specific patterns that we should be trading. Aside from the NFP, we get the OPEC GMMC meetings as well, the ECOFIN meetings, the US employment data, which is the NFP and, and, and a bunch of other data, and the Canadian employment data. So as you see, a big week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, really busy, but we're already trading some interesting things, especially a nice trade on Euro USD buy, which I'll go over before we end this video. Now, what's important to note? We only trade verified patterns which are generated by our trading system. We follow it to the dot, to the absolute dot, uh, when we trade the news or whatever, anything else. Uh, so we do not trade based on hunches or feelings or because we read some bullshit thing in the internet, on the internet or on investing.com or Forex Factory. We really don't care because by the time you've read it, it's already too late. 
simply because our only mission why do we use our system we use it because our only mission is to generate profits in the market let me enlighten you with our uh, mission statement it's all about consistent compounded weekly profits and we must emphasis on the must do whatever it takes to achieve that so the basic point is show up every day follow the system every day even if you lose money continue following the system look for ways to limit your losses and focus on making profits so guys girls ladies gentlemen if you want to learn to trade in an organized and professional manner and be supported by a team of industry professionals people who are on the same mission as you profits make sure to give us a try because we offer four plus many other things first of all a community which is run by me i provide continuous information i go over support uh we have a, a weekly meeting where we go over our trades see what we're doing i look for ways to help you uh, we also provide courses different courses on our system psychology and many other things um, because look yes our mission is consistent and compounded weekly profits but it is also to make traders that's our mission to teach people to become professional traders so if we do that our mission is a success if we don't do that if you're here and you're losing money well then we might as well close up shop and that's one thing we're not planning on doing uh, we also offer private coaching when you join our community you get a free session with me um, and then of course we've got paid co uh, private coaching sessions such as it's the same thing like going to the gym you know you, if you go by yourself to the gym you'll do a bunch of exercises you won't really know what you're doing but when you have a professional trader with you trainer with you um, it's so much easier to achieve results that's me and my team right we also offer workshops and ongoing guidance now this is not a sales pitch here I'm just showing you what we're doing um, if you're interested you can shoot us a DM on Instagram or send us an email or go to our website and you'll find everything there anyway uh, thanks for watching but before we go to this thanks for watching let me go to the trading view so I can show you euro USD hang on for a second right so here is a beautiful trade uh, on um, a uh, euro USD now let me show you the bigger picture on the four hour just for you guys to understand what we're doing here so we took the range this is the current range the high the low of this current move and what we're doing is basically we're targeting the 61 percent 61 percent lines up with the support levels here 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 and then that strong breakout uh, you can also see 61 percent line up with this resistance levels let me just show you this so I'll just tap on the 61 boom there it is clearly a really nice level where price action has found resistance pushed up then we had the breakout and then resistance pushed down breakout here support support breakout so we're targeting the 61 because it seems like a decent level um, and I'll show you on the one hour chart the beautiful things that we see here first of all we have this beautiful bullish flag and second of all if I take the high from here and the low here we get the 61 percent of the fib level which is generally a strong indicator of bullish continuation we also have this flag we also have this really interesting level which seems to be holding for now and even this one here which lines up with the 61 so that's it uh, you can see that the risk reward is very strong 13 pip stop loss a free to one risk reward with a 40 pip take profit and a 13 pip stop loss this looks good and if I go down to the four hour chart you'll also notice that price action my good friends is using our EMA which is the 13 EMA as current support generally that's a really good add-on level and you can see it work here um, and, and many other times such as here as well after the breakout and we also have a crossover between the dochain channel and the EMA this looks like a really good trade we'll hold on to it and our community members are already riding it together with us a few of them um, and uh, yeah that's pretty much it let's go back to the PowerPoint for a second okay now I'm serious thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel we're gonna be providing a lot of free information here too even as if, if money is the issue continue following us talk to us uh, we'll help you out with a discount without a problem our mission is to help as many people as possible um, make sure to use this Dece December to change your life because 2020 must be an amazing year thank you again
and I wish you all the very best for Christmas if you're celebrating. If you're not, just have an amazing December. Uh, my name's Dennis, sending you positive vibes for success and happiness. Bye. Thank you.